Historically, Leith is Edinburgh's port, so it grew up as a separate town, a separate borough. The two, as probably with most neighbouring cities and towns, had a very intense rivalry. Um, they were joined together in 1920. It's fair to say Leith was not happy about that. They voted uh, overwhelmingly against it in an unofficial referendum, but it happened anyway. My name is Richard Garvin, uh, I'm one of the directors of the Theatre for us, and at the moment we're sitting in the main auditorium of the Theatre. The Theatre came about um, as a res result of that referendum, or as a result of the drawing together of the city of Borough. The people of Edinburgh promised the people of Leith if they agreed to merge, they would build them a civic complex as a gift. So it's now, if you like, more of a suburb of Edinburgh than it used to be, but it's still fiercely independent, still has its own industries, still has its own outlook and in the last 10 to 15 years it's very much become a creative hub. Leith is only two to three miles from the city centre but uh, to some people that could be a long long way in Leith so um, I suspect many people who visit Edinburgh don't come down to visit Leith uh, which is their loss I think. One of the visions we have for the theatre is it's got a, a flagship for Leith uh, not just in terms of being a community venue which of course we hope it always will be but also an artistic venue. Well, there are several other venues I would recommend in Leith. Um, the Biscuit Factory, which isn't too far away, has a, a very wide ranging artistic programme. They, they do very small club nights, they have uh, music events, uh, they have exhibitions, um, and it is literally a converted biscuit factory. It's a fascinating building. Um, they also have a distillery on site, so they do their own gin, which is always an attraction. And another venue which is just literally just reopening this week is Dr Bell's Bath, which is an old Victorian swimming pool on Jun Great Junction Street, which has been converted into an events venue, a music venue, and um, who knows what else the people behind it have a lot of imagination. And of course Leith has non-artistic attractions at uh, the Royal York Britannia, not too far away, and um, a very vibrant and lively um, eating and drinking culture down here. Um, several Michelin star restaurants, all types of food, and you know, best part possibly of a dozen first class, first rate pubs. Well, we're out on the waterfront in Leith, right, right down on the shore, uh, about a mile from the city centre of Edinburgh. This was the former wake room for the ferry from Aberdeen, which is farther north, and uh, all our Chukta friends, uh, the farmers, and everybody come down here, and this is where they came off. The, the dictionary uh, definition is a contemptuous term for a Highlander an uncouth countryfied person. So obviously all the guys come from all, you know, all over the country and they either come here before Murrayfield or they end up staying here because the fires are on. It's nice and cosy, welcoming and it's a really good atmosphere.